Hey Snows fam, it's Lauren here with the Oz Trail All-in-One Count Kitchen. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and pack it away. It so it's an extra large kitchen space with a customizable setup and a steel frame strong enough to hold all your camp kitchen needs. So this is the uh, how your camp kitchen will come. It's all packed up in its storage bag here. It is a meter or 100 centimeters um, long by about 56 centimeters wide and laying down flat, it'll be about 30 centimeters here um, from sort of bottom to top, including this little pocket. So this one is our demo model. So yours fresh out of the cardboard box might come packed a little bit differently to this one, but all the components that you are going to get um, will be as follows. Now, obviously it comes with this nice big uh, heavy duty storage bag here, and it's got some lovely strong reinforced webbing straps. What I'll do first is open up this pocket at the front here and that is going to um, have some components of your dishwash station and some also some other accessory racks. So I'll just pop those aside here. We've got a couple of frame components. It's our pantry body. Uh, this is our lantern pole. Now, this is uh, the top of our dishes rack. Now we'll set that, that part up last. This is your uh, stove rack or your, yeah, your camp um, stove rack. And we've just got a shelf here and some pantry shelf insert. So I'll pop those ones here and we're just gonna pull the main body of the stove out like so. And I'll just pop the storage bag away. Righty, so first things first, we are going to keep um, these two latches locked together while we set the legs up. So we'll pop the legs open and push these hinge locks into place like so and we'll pull this other leg out and lock these hinge locks into place like so now before i'm going to turn it up i'm going to attach the uh the pantry because i personally find that easier to do when it's um, in this position so i'm just going to keep my shelving off to the side here now the uh, handle section is the front of your camp kitchen so i'm going to orient the pantry doors to me and in the back here we've got these little uh, clips and they are going to clip straight onto these little triangular sections which you will find in each corner like so. Right, and then we'll do the top ones. Now last one over here. Now we've also got, you can probably see these little Velcro flaps here, uh, and they're going to anchor the frame onto, um, the pantry, sorry, onto the frame. So I'll just do these first two ones, just to keep the pantry in place for me. And now I'm going to uh, tip it up, upright. And now I will Velcro, I can move around the table easily now. So I'm just gonna Velcro all of these spots into place. So, and do the back ones and in the last corner here. Before I pop my MDF shelving in, I'm gonna put on our little uh, rack down the base here. And that will just sit in place on these cross struts like so. So now we've got our MDF, MDF shelving which is our three uh, smaller shelves, which will go in place here. I find it easier to put the bottom shelf in first. That's gonna be um, the tightest shelf to get in. And if you put your other ones in first, you're going to um, start putting the pantry under a bit of tension. So that makes that bottom one a bit trickier. So we'll go for that top one. All right, all in place, our large shelf. 
going into place like so. So from here, I'm gonna release these latches and open up the top of the kitchen. Pop the hinge locks into place so the lid doesn't fall down on you. Now, from my dish rack tub, I have these little baskets here. So we'll be getting those ones out. And then these hook onto whichever configuration you'd like onto the back here. Like so, I might lift that one up there. And now we have our lantern pole. So if you come around the back here, you will see this little piece of frame here. Now this um, piece of the lantern pole that's got the sort of little dog leg on it, that will slide over first. And as you can see, the shape of that just allows the lantern pole to move around the table frame. Now from here, you pop on your next pole, which you can omit as well. If you wanna just go straight for this lantern pole, you can. Um, but then we'll put the second one on. And if you're a little bit short, you might wanna do this first, but you pull out your lantern hook and that just flips over to the side there, um, ready for hanging your lanterns from. So this is the main body of your camp kitchen. It's something that you can set up just with a little bit of pantry space. You have a bin section there um, and you've got a nice sort of big area for food prep. This would be something that you could get away with if you had a small hiking stove, um, maybe that had like a little gas canister with a screw on burner on the top. So you're not getting heat directly onto the uh, MDMF bench top here. But if you don't have a stove like that and you wanna use a larger um, camping stove maybe doing family cooking or cooking for a few more people, then you will need to set up your stove rack. So the way to do that is literally, you're just going to be opening it up like so and locking these hinge locks into place. And then what you'll be able to see here is, I'm not sure if the camera will be able to pick these up, just underneath here on either side, you've got these little holes and these um, little tabs on the stove rack are going to uh, pop into the holes on either side. Now this, um, because this rack has a really high load rating and it can take heavy stoves and pots full of food, it is quite strong. So it does take a fair bit of muscle um, to push this one into place. And it's also pretty good because you know, you're assured then that your stove's not gonna um, fall or this, this section of the pantry is not gonna collapse when you're cooking. There we go, so that's locked into place now. All right, so that is your stove rack now set up. So your whole kitchen is ready to go. You've got space for cooking um, with your camp stove here. You've got your pantry storage space and a whole bunch of extra, extra accessories and hanging racks and things like that. If you wanna take your camp kitchen further and have the ultimate glamping experience, you can now set up your dishwashing station. So we have our two components here. So I'm just gonna set this side of this frame aside for now. And we're gonna sort of just bounce open this support section like so. So this one can be a little bit tricky to do. I'll just push up these little sections here and then the frame will stop. You can see it's got these little pot rivets on the side and that's to stop um, the, the uh, what do you call them? Scissor struts from opening up too much. So once that's in place, we have our U-shaped uh, piece of frame and that's got these holes on either side there and up the top. And they're gonna correspond with these little pins inside the, um, the C-clamps or C-clips here. So we'll line them up and pop them into place. Oops, like so. Right, those ones are in. There we go. And our last one here. All right, now we, I'm gonna move this, um, this frame into place. Now the actual dishwashing uh, station or, or rack is not a fixed rack to the camp kitchen. Just actually will uh, tuck in over the top of the bin here like so. So that butts up nice and tight and you can put your dishwashing tub and your air drying rack 
in place. Obviously you can set them up um, vice versa or however you uh, want to do that. So that's how easy it is to set up the Austrail all-in-one camp kitchen. So now we're going to do that all in reverse and pack it away. So I'm going to grab your tub and your wire rack and I'll just pop those off to the side. Now I'll get the um, dish rack station and I'll move that over to the front here. And we're going to pop off the top rail on both sides and I'll just pop that side there as well. And then we will bounce this little frame in on itself. Okay, now that component is all packed. And the next thing we're gonna do is uh, get down low onto our stove rack here and put in a bit of muscle to pop out either side of the rack from these little holes there that I mentioned earlier. There we go. All right, now once that one's done, I'm just gonna pop out these little uh, hinge locks. Fold that one flat. Next thing we're gonna do is remove our lantern post. So I'll take it from the base here first and then just collapse it like so. And then on this end bit, we're gonna lift and slide away the little lantern uh, holder specific bit. Put that one down, remove our wire racks and then release our hinge locks. Now this can get a little bit tricky here with these little um, hooks in the way. So you're just gonna wanna try and make sure that they are See, uh, if we're just gonna let the lid shut like that, the hooks will stay um, and, and stop the lid from shutting. So we've just gotta sort of poke them in a little bit there until the lid fully goes down. And then I'm just gonna chuck that catch on. All right, I've locked um, that tabletop shut now so it's not gonna pop open on me. Now before I flip it over onto the side and get the uh, pantry off, we're gonna remove our shelving. And last but not least, our little wire rack down the bottom here. Now, making sure I've locked this on at the top and I've removed everything from inside the pantry, I'm gonna turn it on its back and that will just allow me to um, easily remove the pantry section like so. So we're gonna release the hinge locks from all sides and then we're gonna fold the legs in. But before we do that, you'll notice that one side of the legs has this additional tab um, and sort of anchor point up the top. That's gonna be the leg that you fold in last. So we're gonna fold our bin side in first, like so. And then that little extension on those legs there allows this one to fold in neatly on the top. So from here, I'm gonna grab our storage bag and lay this one in. So that's going in quite easily and I've got loads of leftover room. So I'm going to grab from here my MDM, MDF shelving. Gets me every time that word. And I've got my tub dishwashing racks here and I've got my extra um, accessories racks. So I'm gonna leave them off to the side for now. Put a wire rack in. Like so. Now this is my entire stove rack. and the lantern pole. I've got my pantry fabric here. I'm just gonna give these a bit of a shuffle because I've got my stove rack caught on this other metal rack there. So I'm gonna shuffle that forward a little bit. And that will sort of give me space to 
tuck in my dishwasher rack here. And then I'm just gonna roughly fold this pantry like so and tuck that one in. Now from here, I'm just gonna zip that one up. And remembering my dishwashing tub and drying rack from before and my little accessory baskets, you can tuck these ones in here like so. It's a little bit of a jiggle, but it's a great space saver. And then slide that dish tub into this pocket on the outside here. And that fits perfectly like so. That's it for the Austrail all-in-one camp kitchen. If you want to know more about the specifications and all of the measurements, head to our features video. Otherwise, you can get this at snowies.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you found this video helpful, give us a like. If you've got any questions or comments, chuck them below. You can head here to subscribe or here for more helpful videos.